<laughs> What's going on, everybody? As you guys know, I had to redo all my videos I had made up. It was just weird. I started a video, and next thing I know, one of my plugins popped up, and I'm like, great, got to start again. But this here goes into fake Logo Man patches. It were placed into some upper deck cards. Uh, mostly they were Vince Carter. It's from his rookie year jerseys. They were graded Gem Mint 10 through PSA. Uh, and I can tell you Logo Man patches were not created until 2002, and this is a 1998 card. So let me pull this up here. These are still in circulation. There's two of these. So there's your first serial number right there. Now you can tell it has the Logo Man patch into it. And then you got number two right here. It's the other part of the patch. Other serial number right there. But then, as they say here, PSA grades the card, not the actual patch, which is a true statement because they can't, because the patch in there is supposed to already be guaranteed by Upper Deck, Panini, Tops, whoever it may be. So they kind of stay away from that there, being authentic. Same with like autographs that are on cards that already have, you know, the seal approval from Tops, Panini, or whoever out there. They take the word on that, and they really don't grade it for authenticity. They'll grade the auto as a grade. That's about it. But these here will probably be pulling up somewhere. They might might see them at one of your card shows. Just be careful onto this stuff. If the patches don't look right in the card, they're probably not. Now, with that being said, I could tell you Panini, I want to say it was in like 2015, 16, and 17, where everything, like a lot of National Treasures out 99 iMac, there were the big jumbo patches to where you were getting pieces of like the logo into it, like the Eagle, um, the Cardinal Eye, part of the Pirate Ship from the Bucks. Because I owned a couple of them that were pulled right out of, uh, in a break onto that stuff. I mean, they sell for good money because people want those rare, cool pieces of the patch. But back in this time frame, this stuff didn't exist at all. Like I said, when, I'm trying to see when this came out. This was, oh, just about two months ago. So these are out there somewhere. Just be careful with what you're buying out there. Stay vigilant on stuff. If stuff doesn't look right, you know, you can always try to ask, take pictures of it and say, hey, I, um, can I get your number? I might want this, but I got to do some research onto it later. And most of the dealers are like, yeah, here, here's my number onto it. And you can, you know, take pictures, post them on a form or something. Like, does this look right to anybody? Now, you can go through and you can tell the people that are not going to troll your post versus the people that's going to give you good information. But be careful out there, buddy. We're getting uh, geared up for the national. A lot of money is going to exchange hands out there. These cards are going to be go tossed every which way. People that got into them, whether they are the original owner or not, they're going to push this stuff off because they know there's something wrong with it. And somebody, whether it's new or just getting back in a hobby or somebody's been in for a while in the heat of a moment doing deals and try to get stuff done quickly stuff's going to get passed around it will it's inevitable on that part all right everybody take care have a good one hopefully get to see you guys live on saturday when i do the uh, auction and fix prices joey will be part of it and i think i think everybody else is at a show i knew i asked about no i take it back still gotta wait on one person to get back with me Better that. Take care. Have a good rest of the week. I'll talk to y'all later.